Hello and welcome back to Always the Boy. Now for you today I have got a mount drilled uh, SP480 Turbo. Uh, it was given to me another freebie all my um, they say it starts and then it cuts out. Uh, they've had enough of it and they've gone electric. So uh, let's go and have a look at it and see if we can get it working and see if it's okay. <laughs> All right, so there we are. Um, I've never had one of these ones before because it's got the metal deck and it's also got this plastic cover on the deck um, if it does protect it. I don't really know because what it, it will hide, it is, will hide all the rust or anything, the rubbish. There's a lot of, let's just look around the back there, there's loads of this rubbish. So I'm gonna have to try, take this actual plastic off. Um, Put this, I would say it's underneath by looking by there and there and it's got some bolts underneath um, I need to do to take that off really just to give it a good clean but also what else I've noticed is look at that it's probably one of the reasons why it's not starting that bolt is loose so what I'm going to do first really is I'm going to check the oil just make sure there's oil in it Yep, yeah, there's there's oil there. Look, real need changing. It's uh, quite quite dark there. Um, take this spark plug out. Have a look at that. And also, then I'll tighten that up. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll just stick some fuel in it. There ain't a lot of fuel in it. I don't know if it's going to work. And then we'll come back when it's done. All right, I've, I've tightened that up. So let's just have a quick look at the spark plug. Uh, it is a bit oily uh, and the gap is not very 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 much so what I'm going to do is quickly is I'm just going to give this a quick clean up I want to see if it's the uh, it's a Briggs & Stratton one Briggs & Stratton SVCU so it could be possibly this is the original spark plug as well so let's get this sort this plug out I'm going to use the same one because I want to see if it starts with this one well, as I'm here, let's, let's have a quick look at this uh, air filter just make sure this is all right. Oh, it's got a brand new air filter in it. Look at that, it's brand new. It does look a bit dirty inside there. So what I'm going to do quickly as well. Uh, I'll just give that a quick spray with the... in there we put this back that's it that's it make sure it goes in right I'll stick some fuel in there we go outside and we'll see if it works So as you saw, it did have a problem there with uh, running on full throttle. It seemed to be chugging a bit. So it's probably got a problem inside the carburetor. We'll strip that down and uh, 
putting probably a new diaphragm and gasket here anyway. Alright, so let's start taking these uh, screws out of here. I'll have to repair this if it all sticks a new glue on it. Why do they put screws underneath these? It's ridiculous, it really is. It's got four holes in this cover. I think this is a 2002, looking at the uh, code on the actual engine. Um, but that could be just the code of the engine, uh, not the actual mower. But so you know, the engine is 2000, so you don't know when it was actually first sold. Let's get the screw out of there. Put that away. It's a very good condition really, look at that. Right, so this plastic, it's obvious it's going to be underneath. So let's quickly just, just take this off again. I haven't got to put a new air filter once, got a brand new one on it, which is good. We'll undo it. That. I'll just get a 10 mil for that. I'll put it handy. That's 11. That's 12. Here's me 10. Should have the tools really, really. Oh, that was quite loose. this off as well when I that's an eight mil. I've loosened this but before I take it off it hasn't moved yet I'm just gonna mark it with permanent markers and then I'll know where it's meant to go back. That's that off. Well this has seen better days in it really um, I'll give this a little clean and tidy this tank up and I'll just blow all this out as well to give that a little tidy up. So I've given the, the uh, tank a little clean up, uh, took these screws off, let's have a look inside here. Uh, first of all we'll have a look at the, it's quite dirty in there so that's, that's going to need a clean all around here and I think it's, it's, it does look a little bit dirty inside the tank as well. Um, Oops, diaphragm and gasket. That's going to need replacing. It looks like it's uh, shrink. I'm losing all these screws here. Let's put them in there. That's it. Yeah, so we'll take this off a minute. Let's have a look at this. It don't look too bad, but I will replace it. But only because of that bit there, really. I'll change that over. Uh, put a new one on that. Let's just have a look inside there. Give all that a clean out. All right, so I'll clean all this carburetor up. Uh, it does need a good clean. Even the inside of it, it's all quite dirty inside there. So we'll sort that out. Uh, when I come back, well, there you have it. It's all back in there. It's all a bit more. It's a lot more cleaner inside than what it was. So we'll put this on to the side for now, and then we'll get on with the rest uh, for a full service on this mower. All right, this ain't too bad in here. It, it does need some cleaning underneath. I'll have to do it, but. Uh, the the blade is upside down that's the wrong way around um, I will take all this uh, belt cover off and give it a good clean underneath and also under this axle here so let's get on with this bit well I'll tell you what this this blade I have to say it is virtually brand new yep yeah, I have to say it's brand new but it has been put upside down so whoever serviced it last um, <laughs> made a little mistake by putting that upside down. That's the way it should do. See where the bolt's gone in the other way, and this bit here should be going upwards. Oh well, there went. There you have it. Underneath is all cleaned. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> this blade really is virtually new. I have to say, but I, I still gave it a little bit of a respray under there for the blade. 
makes it sort of it's virtually new, 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 really. So, uh, underneath's all done, really. That's as best as I'm going to get underneath there, and uh, it's, it's got on with the top bit. See, I'd be lost without these uh, rifle weight. <laughs> now, because of this plastic uh, in the way here, I need to use an extended bar on that bit there, just to get that nut out there. That's it, that's that done. Don't want to lose a nut. Uh, let's put this back on the other one again, just to get the other side out. Should have sort the other nut out first, really. Would have been a lot easier. To, uh... oh, I'll tell you what, that plastic's in the way, isn't it? It's a pain. Right, let's take this off. Uh, that ain't too bad under there. We'll say that, look at that. Bit of gunk under there as well. Right, so I won't film the uh, cleaning all this off because it makes it I've got to use my compressor it's going to make a bit of noise give this a clean and then I'll come back well I've given the uh, top of the mower a really good wash outside uh, let it dry off a bit and then I'll stick some of that revive it on it afterwards I think just to make it brighten it out a little bit um, what else I need to do now really is this sticker really uh, I need to get all this old glue off and then I need to try and restick that I'll probably just try and use super glue uh, but what I'm, I'm hoping this stuff here will take all that old sticky off so we'll have a look we'll have a go on it I don't know if it's gonna work this stuff but we'll see oh look at that look getting out getting all that off nicely that sounds all the old glue and the dirt with it as well that let's use another bit of a cloth give it another bit this is good stuff this I actually got this really mainly uh, because when I got my car it had some sign writing on the side of it and uh, someone said try this stuff um, it did it did all right Let's just use the other side now, it's got, it's got some on it. Right, so I'll, I'll give this a good clean, and then uh, I'll come back when it's done. Right, I've got that most of that off now, I've just a tiny little bit off there. Um, I won't glue it on yet though, not until I've got it all back together onto the, uh, on the mower. Uh, otherwise I won't be able to get the screw in. So yeah, that'll do for now, I've just tidied it up just a little bit more, it's taken a bit longer than what I expected, uh, but it'll be alright. Well, I'll start getting this back together now. Oops, one thing I need to forget. One thing I do always do is when I uh, get these ones where they've got these connected to these, I just take them off. And what I do is I get the old type and I just screw it in, use that as a, I always keep that as a spare, uh, put it in, and it stops all the oil coming out leaking. So let's get this back on. Okay, so there's one there. Get one in there. Is it going to go in there? Nah, let's get the long one. <laughs> I'll have to do it with the other one, the other side as well as that. Because I struggle to get the other side off. I don't know what all this plastic bit's about really. Right, I don't want to go in there. Right, 
myself. No, it don't. What I also almost forgot is to put this bit on as it happens. So what I'll do is to get this in. Is Going in straight for some reason. No. Nope. So I'm loosening that off. It may have crossed. This is in the way, this plastic here, I tell you. Right, I need to go and check that thread. Right, I managed to get these screws on. What I have to do in the end is literally just force this over on both sides and the other side as well. That, that is quite difficult with this, this bit in the way. Um, I don't think they needed that, this bit here. and they, they could have put the screw on there or something like that to hold that casing in. Because it's got one. I don't know why it needs four screws to hold that top covering. Well, we get this tank back on now. Into there, oh, the rubber's come off. That's it. That goes there. There should be another bolt here somewhere. Tank up <coughs> I have to take this uh, cap off and we'll put it back on. That's it, that's done. Right, I've put all the tank back on, the air filters on, uh, and I've get like you can see I've given it a nice little clean up. Uh, I need to do a bit more on this side. I've put some of that revive on it, uh, which has brought up the uh, plastic up a little bit more. I've still got this side to do. I've done that side, but I'm putting on the sticker now. Uh, I've done most of it because it is a time consuming thing. So, what I'm going to. Oops, hang on, my phone's ringing. Apologies on that one. Um, I did have to uh, answer that one. Someone was someone's on their way around to so have a look at a mother. Um, anyway, so what I do is with the super glue is just very gently. I don't put a lot in Just about that much and then what I do is I Push it forward and then I push it outwards Because you will get overspill like that here. Look see where I've just just spilt some so I'll quickly rub that away but, And then force that down and outwards so yeah, there you see how the glue's coming out. So you need to get that out off quickly before it dries, even on that side. And then what I do is I wait for a little bit on that bit. See, look, it's more there, look, see? You don't need a lot, it comes out quickly. And that's it let's get some of that off there I don't want that glue on there there's more there look I can see it where it's dried you don't want it to dry too much that's it so I'll just leave that for a little bit just to take and as you get smaller you need less and less glue just you've got to give that time to dry right, so that's that is virtually stuck on that already so now on this last little bit really all I'm going to do is 
that much. That's all I'm going to do. It's probably too much as well. But got that over spill there. Get all that off. Let's get, make sure you get a clean bit of cloth or you get the dirt to get into it. So you spread it out nicely. Get that off quick. Rub it off. And that should be done. Now that is it. Just remember, don't use too much glue. I'd like to know where I could get some spray glue where you can actually take all this off, clean the other stuff and spray it on. I've tried carpet adhesive like before, but it just goes everywhere. It doesn't go where you want it. I want a fine spray where you can redo these and I can't find it anywhere. It would be nice to know where to get it or if you can get it. Right, so that's that bit done. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get to revive it now. And I'll just show you on there. Where has it gone? It's down here somewhere. No, it's over there. I'm just using a J cloth this time because because where it's a smooth plastic, it, it, you don't need a lot. So I'll just put some on there. And then literally just nice and gentle and what it does it gets into all the cracks and it brings it up a lot more shiner Sh shinier I should say Let's get it right that's me cockney coming out on me and there you are and I'll just I'll finish this off in a minute so we'll let that dry and see what happens well, this this bit here seems to have missed a bit so that's better so that's it now we've all the revive it it's all dried up overnight and it's it's, re it's looking really quite nice and shiny as it happens I'm loving it so right let's go stick some fuel in it sit, come out outside with it and uh, we'll see if it starts right, let's make sure it pumps all right Just pump in there. That's better. So if it's time getting up there. Mountfield uh, SP480 Turbo uh, another freebie which is really good it's running nicely uh, what I'll do I'll leave it outside running a little bit uh, just to see how it goes and also warm up the uh, in the oil for it so because I need to give it an oil change uh, but I'll do that afterwards yeah that's great I'm loving that one I think that's quite good you've seen this uh, mower on the deck on my table before uh, on my previous uh, video when I fixed the grass box on it so there you have it on that one yeah great i'm uh, happy with that one so anyway if you like this video uh please give us a thumbs up uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that gray notification bell top and set it to all and then you'll be notified when i'm doing another one so uh, that's all there is on this one until next time cheerio